Hello everyone, today another day of our challenge and I will continue working with our application as usual. Uh, so let me maybe start the timer. And what I would like to start, I would like to look at logs of the function arm and see if it started to work after adding our um, after adding our uh, identity to the to the function app. Okie dokie, yeah, it's today, it's today, today's logs. Okay. Service request failed. Interesting. Okie dokie. Need to load the proper merge identity. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, okay, so I need to add Azure client ID environment variable, okay. to add that identity so if I will go into my resource group and then to manage identity so here we have client ID so I will in my infrastructure in the function app I will first of all maybe params oh maybe and I have to add that automatically. So name Azure client ID value. Yes, I think it's not principal. Client ID. Okie dokie, so, uh, okay, I can start that function and I will, I can go here. Mm. Git add. Add Azure client to function app config git push okie dokie so I can close that uh. ok so let's see the deployment deploy resources that's the most interesting for us
Okay. It's running deployment. Let's see. My resource group. Okay, okay, so our function app should be also deployed with new environment variable. Yes, this is our client ID. So I can go into my queue, oh, into my queue. And I can try to send the message uh, JSON. Start the function up. In the meantime, also I will look on costs of resource group. Okay, it's about one euro, so it's so cheap. Okay, function uh, restart. Okay, restarted. Here in my function, I can go into monitor. Okay, let's connect to logs. And let's go into service bus. Looks like it started to work. Yay! Invocations. Yes, the first success. Woohoo! So from now, uh, function app should start. <laughs> should start working. Uh, well, yeah, we can see our logs. Uh, okie dokie really nice very really nice um, okay so what we can do more maybe here rename the function Uh, 
so sorry everywhere. Yes. Okay. Here also. Maybe I will just also remain on our uh, from tag, tag manager to tag processor because we are not managing the tags, we are just processing them. So maybe I will tag processor. And here also I will rename symbol time oh. time trigger. Yes, and and here also. If function so yeah now sh we should get the uh, we should get the better names in our function app so here from now we should have uh, the other names because yeah here are Everything is good, and that HTTP example, yeah, we haven't triggered that from that part, but yeah, okie dokie. So, uh, and also, uh, okay, everywhere I have. That, that manager namespace so lots of renaming oh, okay so I will just get back to tag manager it will be easier tag manager I can push that too. 
Let's see how much time we have. Okay, four minutes. Okie dokie. So here uh, I can also API, API, tech manager, manager. Uh, I don't know. I think that it should go the tag manager class. It's here. It's the infrastructure part. So, because we are getting uh, information from Q. And we are calling our service to, uh, to run the proper processing. So, add commit move tag manager class to tag infrastructure part. Okay. So if we have So I can start as we have three minutes, I, uh, less than three minutes. I can start working on another uh, part switcher, switcher, and in switcher, I would like to have. and it will be maybe I will just remove that as that switcher new create function will be service bus topic trigger uh, for now yes my code mm. Ah, okay, so maybe I wanna time trigger Ah, okay. So it's Q, but uh, Ah, yeah, the trigger will be the same, so uh, maybe I can I can look on topic creation. Ah, okay. I can't create topic. Ah, probably because it's basic tire. Use standard. But yeah, here also there will be only Q. Uh, we will have separated queues for switching, turning on subscription resource group and or resources within subscription resource group and just VMs. Uh, yeah, because we will not process that by multiple handlers, but this will, will be continued tomorrow. So thanks for today and see you tomorrow. Have a nice day and see you again. Bye.